right, in this video I'm going to show you how to find uh, a heat map of all of your contacts based on their IP address. So there's a couple of stipulations here with this report. Uh, and the first one is that your contacts will have had to have filled out an Infusionsoft web form. When they do that, Infusionsoft captures their IP address, which gives you a general location of, of where they're at. If you've imported your contacts from a third party um, and you don't have an address associated with it, this won't work. Another option where this won't work is if you have um, all of your leads getting entered through the API, through maybe like lead pages or something, that won't work. So really this only works if you are using Infusionsoft and you're using the Infusionsoft web forms natively. And if you are, this should work really well for you. So step number one is you'll want to go to uh, your marketing reports so under marketing go to reports and then once you're there jump into the web form tracking report is what it's called and you can see that's where I'm at right now and then go ahead and just search it's all you really need to do and that'll bring up all of the contacts that have submitted a web form uh, through Infusionsoft and so associated with that will be their IP address Again, this won't bring up all of your contacts, just those that have completed an Infusionsoft web form. Um, once you've done that, then you click Actions and Export. And all we really need here is the IP address. We don't need anything else. And then we'll process that action, let it do its thing, and then we're going to open this up in Excel. All right, so let me bring this over. Um, so I'm going to click into this first cell and select all of my IP addresses, you'll see I've got uh, about 441 of them, so that should give me a good start. Next thing is to go to this website, and I'll include the uh, link in the description below, and then you just paste it into this uh, little box right here. You can see it says one IP per line, which is great because Excel already um, copied it like that, and then I'm going to click on generate heat map. And while this is loading, I'll go ahead and pause the video. All right, so I've uh, gone ahead and let that run its course. And so here we are. You can kind of see some. I've got a really heavy presence in Arizona, so it's, it's kind of throwing everything else off a little bit here. But I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of these things. Change radius for one, so that makes it a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit more to the US and change the gradient a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So you'll start to see where you've got some different areas and if you zoom in even closer, um, that might help a little bit. So that's, um, that's how you do it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll answer them as fast as I can. Thanks.